Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about front of the house pressure. Front of the house is a term that is used in live venues. I have a lot of friends that work in a live venue format. I, we even have a company now using some of our subwoofer platforms on stage um, for live events. And the comments are it reduces the pressure on the stage. Uh, they can run everything at lower outputs and, and lower levels. So there's not so much energy to manage on the stage. We're actually working on a system now for uh, a series of our uh, carbon absorbers behind the instruments on the stage to even reduce the pressure even further, which benefits everybody. You know, from a health standpoint, from a resolution standpoint, maybe from a setup uh, standpoint, you use less gear. So we'll keep you posted on that. But front of the house is a live venue term called front of the house engineer. He, he's the guy that manages all the energy that goes on on stage and hopefully gets that energy into the audience as best that he can. I don't know how some of these guys work in these rooms. I know there's a lot of electronic processing going on, a lot of, um, you know, m delay and, and signal delay and, and all of that. And probably good for that kind of venue because the acoustical treatments in most of these large venues are practically zero. So it's got to be a tough job, but we're going to interview one uh, shortly who does a lot of work in the Seattle area. We'll get some of his impressions about uh, energy and stuff on the stage. Two channel and theater, we have front of the house low frequency pressure issues all the time. Two channel, we have our two channels. If they're rear ported, you're going to have a lot of front wall energy. We could call it front of uh, wall or front wall energy if instead of front of the house. Theaters are going to use multiple channels. Multiple channels, more energy, right? In our theater, we have four speakers in the front because we split that center channel into left uh, and right center. And then we have eight eight-inch uh, low-frequency drivers, and the speakers are reported. There's a lot of low-frequency energy. I mean, that's four 16-inch drivers, if you think about it, right? So it's a lot of energy. you got to manage that front-of-the-house energy in order to get resolution because you know think about it if you have your speakers and you have all this energy this low frequency energy surrounding them then do they really get a chance to distribute the middle and high frequency energy in the right way with all this pressure bubble so to speak around them no they can't so what do you get? You get excess uh, energy, mud and soup. We call it blurring and smearing. It's, it's unbelievable. Now, I've gone to great extremes in our multiple channel facility to deal with that. And you can see here in the pictures <laughs> that it's just crazy with the amount of treatment I have in this room. But that's what I needed to do to get the response curve. Now, granted, you're not going to do that. I get it. But this is a research facility, so I wanted to push things to the limit. So I knew where the compromises were. I knew where the breakpoints were. So when customer says, Dennis, I don't have budget to treat it the, the best way that I can, what's the next best? What's the next best after that if I can't afford it? And now I know. I know what the best is. I know what you have to do. And most people won't be willing to do that. I get it. But it's good to have thresholds. It's good to have breakpoints so you understand. And I'm able to assist you better with the process. Low frequency treatment must be in that 30 to 300 cycle and really, really right here. That's what we got to do, the big stuff. We want to carry it out here too, but this is 30 to 100 is really the critical uh, area that we have to do. We have behind the speakers, between the speakers, under the speakers, and on top of the speakers, as you can see in that photo. So that shows you the extent of pressure in that area. You don't know it's a problem till you treat it and make it go away. That's what we've discovered. People don't take that extra step, and I get it. Who would? Who, who would want to place all that treatment between their speakers? Only somebody like me who, who's chasing this kind of stuff. But that's okay. I can help establish the references and the quantities and amounts and rates and levels that, that help determine what we make for recommendations. So if budget's an issue, I always tell people, you got to treat two walls minimum. But with theater, a lot of front end channels, if budget's an issue, treating just the front of the house or the front wall energy is a good start. It won't be enough, but it'll be a good start. 
And here's what's going to happen. As you treat that surface area and push up the resolution, the other surface areas that are producing problems, they'll become more pronounced. You'll hear them more. In an untreated room, you can't tell where the problems are coming from. You can't tell if it's the left wall, the right wall, the rear wall, if it's a pressure problem. Because the problems are spread equally throughout the room. But as you start treating each surface area, the untreated surface areas become more pronounced and you start to localize them. You'll hear them. You'll know that that right side wall is producing 50 hertz. In our theater room, I know the side walls are, are producing 80 hertz issues. And we're going to work on that in another video. So you get to fine tune the room through a kind of a process of elimination. We have six surfaces, right? The four walls, floor, and ceiling. As you treat each surface, the remaining surfaces become more pronounced and more audible. And then you're able to focus the treatment on that. So front of the house pressure, very, very critical in two channel or theater with multiple channel speakers. I can't emphasize enough that of all the treatment surface areas, that this, this is the most important. I think most important for two channel and for theater. Front of the house pressure, hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.